Okay, next test in your lives is to see if we can open up SQL Server here. Um, so on your desktop, you'll see there's this little um, icon that says SQL Server Management Studio. So if you double click this, it's gonna open SQL Server Management Studio. This is where we're gonna write some um, SQL queries today. So hopefully everybody sees that link and just double click on it in the VM. Once we open um, the management studio, there'll be a pop-up of a database to connect to. Just choose the defaults and connect to the database that it's already trying to connect to. So you'll just hit um, connect. Everybody good? It's kind of hard to tell <laughs> what's going on. Um, so then we're just gonna um, do a really quick test. So what you're gonna do is when you open up a SQL Server Management Studio and you've connected, they'll, on the left-hand side, there's a drop-down for uh, databases. If you open the databases um, folder, you should then see something called SIMPUF-2.3 um, million. So this is the simulated data set. If you just select it, like, so that it's um, highlighted, you can then press the new query button at the top of the window to open up a query window that will run off of that database. Okay, I see. So Mui's saying when you try to open SQL Server Management Studio, it can take a minute. It's a pretty beefy program, so it's, it's gotta boot up. If you need help, raise your hand. If you highlight it, so highlight, just click it once, it will highlight it, and then there's a button at the top of the window called New Query. If you press New Query while that database is highlighted, it will open a query window on for that database. Does anybody else need help? It's like very painful. <laughs> I have no idea if you guys are doing good or bad. <laughs> okay, if we've connected, we're gonna write a SQL query. It's really easy, you can all do it, I promise. In the query window, all you need to write is select top 10 star from person. So we're gonna actually run a little query real quick. All you're asking, because I know not everybody has written SQL before, all you're asking is show me 10 rows from the person table. So um, in the query window, once you write that, if you wanna get it to run, you can actually just hit F5 and it will run what's in the query window and you should see some results pop up in the bottom. Have people been successful on running? Okay. Okay. Okay, so if you're still having problems, let us know. Um, and then Christian's gonna uh, start talking about the OMOP vocabulary now. So we're not gonna, we're gonna use the VMs in a little bit, but now we're all set up for the rest of the class. Okay, thank you guys.